Alex Hughes' century kept Derbyshire in the game ahead of an enthralling final day against Durham. Imran Tahir was the star performer on day two at Chesterfield, taking five for 98. Coughlin and McCarthy put on an unbeaten 69-run partnership to take Durham to 274 for eight at Stumps, and the pair returned to the middle on day three with their side trailing Derbyshire by 94 runs. With two wickets remaining, they steadily went about reducing the margin and their partnership reached 90 before Santu finally got the breakthrough, McCarthy out for 39. Two overs later, Sandhu struck again, trapping last batsman Rushworth in front for five and Durham were all out for 301. Coughlin was stranded on 73 not out, which proved to be a valuable knock in securing three batting points for Durham. They did finish 67 runs short of Derbyshire's first innings total though and needed early wickets as Slater and Goddaman got Derbyshire's second innings underway. Sure enough, it only took Rushworth three balls to dismiss Slater for two Collingwood with the catch. Coughlin was oozing with confidence after his good batting performance and he soon sent Goddaman on his way for eight to put the hosts under pressure. Three overs later, Rushworth took another wicket, sending Madsen back to the pavilion for four. Derbyshire were on the back foot, but new batsman Hughes managed to steady the ship with Reese, and the pair batted through until lunch, the score 60 for three during the break. Derbyshire led by 127 runs as both batsmen looked to push on in the afternoon session. They put on another 30 runs together before Coughlin claimed his second wicket, Reese out LBW for 37. That brought first inning Centurion Critchley to the crease and the youngster once again looked in fine form as he supported Hughes to his half century. The pair looked to be gaining some good momentum for their side as Derbyshire's lead passed beyond 200. Durham looked flat and their bowling lacked any threat but momentum soon swung drastically as Critchley edged behind off McCarthy for 28. Two balls later, McCarthy sent Smith packing for four as he was caught by Collingwood. The very next over, Palladino was dismissed for a duck by Pringle and Derbyshire had all of a sudden lost three wickets in eight balls. Durham had momentum, but new batsman Sandhu managed to bat through until tea with Hughes, the score 180 for 7 during the break. Derbyshire led by 247 runs as the evening session got underway, but wickets continued to fall, Sandhu bowled by Potts for 9. Hughes was on 99 as he was joined at the crease by Tahir and he soon brought up his first century of the summer in style. To here though, added just five before he was cleaned up by Potts. And Hughes was then the last man out, LBW to Pringle for 108. That left Durham 282 to win and open his steel and Richardson gave the visitors an excellent start, putting on 36 without loss to take Durham through to stumps. It was a good day in the field for the visitors with only Alex Hughes' century keeping Derbyshire in the game. It's still anyone's for the taking though, going into day four with Durham requiring a further 245 for victory.